Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Windows 11 system image backup. I'm also going to show you how to recover from it. Worst case scenario, I'm also going to show you how to recover to a completely different computer using this same image backup. I'll be backing up to an external hard drive, though you might think it's a little expensive, but think about your data, how valuable it is, and then you'll notice that it's actually inexpensive. First, plug in the external hard drive onto the PC. It must be recognized by the PC. So go to File Explorer, this PC, and it should be there. In my case, it's a 300 gigabyte HP external hard drive. The external hard drive or the backup drive must be larger than your used space on your drive or larger than the combined used space on all your drives. If I click on my C drive, which is my only drive, right click and select properties you'll notice that my used space is about 30 gigabyte 26.3 about 27 gigabyte so my 297 gigabyte is perfect for this now we need to format this external hard drive and TFS we need to prepare it for the image to do that select it right click format by formatting you'll be deleting all information on that drive make sure it's either empty or backed up here on the file system select ntfs volume label you can select other than the default something like backup quick format and click start Click on OK to the warning. Like I said earlier, it'll delete all information there. Once formatted, click on OK. Close. Now, our external hard drive is ready for that image. To create that image backup, go to Start and search for Control Panel. Select it from the results and here go to system and security file history on the bottom left select system image backup and on the top left now select create a system image we'll be prompted with three options on a hard disk on a DVD or on the network I don't recommend the bottom two because computer nowadays don't bring any CD drive on a network location because somebody else have access to it and they can delete it. You can also back up to an additional hard drive installed on your computer. If you do, just click on the drop down and select it. Meanwhile, I'll leave it default to the external hard drive and click on next. Here, confirm your backup settings and start backup. If you have multiple hard drives, the window will be slightly different. It'll have the option to select them or deselect them. My recommendation is to select them all. Because some computers bring an additional drive like this one, C drive and data drive. And on that second drive, all the programs are installed. Here in this case, you got programs, games, virtual machines, etc. So if you don't back them all, none of your programs, once you restore it, will work properly. Once it finishes, it'll ask you if you want to create a system repair disk. Select No. Because we can actually create a bootable USB drive. Close. And now we are done creating the system image backup. Now to restore from that image, there are three options. One, 
if your computer can boot up to Windows like this one. Second, if your computer doesn't boot up to Windows. Third, if you want to restore your computer to a completely different one. So I'll start with a first. Say your computer boots up to Windows. All we need to do is click on Start, Power, then hold down the Shift key in your keyboard and click on Restart. Okay, upon Restart, you'll be prompted with these options. Here, select Troubleshoot, Advanced Options. System Restore, Restore System Files and Settings. Here, click on Next to the wizard. I've created a few of them. So, in this case, I'll select the latest one. And then, click on Next and continue with the on-screen instructions I will show you next. If your computer do not boot to Windows, you will need to create a bootable USB drive. I have all the necessary links in the description box below. Once you create that bootable USB, plug it onto the PC and press the proper functions key to access the boot menu. There select the USB device and then you'll be prompted again with the same windows you'll see now. I am using a virtual machine so the process of selecting the boot device is a little different. In the end, when I show you how to boot uh, to a completely different PC, I'll use the method of a bootable USB, which you're going to see. So for now, I'll select Boot Manager. And from Boot Manager, I'll select my CD-ROM, which is actually an ISO. Here it is, but keep in mind the process is exactly the same. Okay, once you boot from that uh, USB or ISO, again, same screen, select language time and keyboard, click next, and here select repair your computer. Again, it's exactly the same process, select troubleshoot, system image recovery, Choose target operating system, Windows 11, and it'll automatically select your latest uh, image backup you created. If you have any other, you can select a different image. Here, click on Next, and you'll notice here I can choose Format and Repartition Disks. I'll select it. Notice that once checked, Exclude Disks is available. If you have multiple disks, right, say your C drive, your E, your F, and they're working perfectly, then you can exclude them by putting a check mark. If not, if you want to delete everything and restore it with the image, then leave all of them unchecked. By default, in this case, the external hard drive is already excluded. Now click on Next and confirm your disk re-imaging. Again, it's going to tell you that it will delete all information and it will be replaced with this image you created. This can take quite some time depending on how much data there is to restore. Once you restart, your system will be back to how it was when you created that system image, as you can see. Now we're going to the third option, which is installing it on a completely different PC. So if you notice here, I got my bootable USB, my external hard drive, which I created the image, and a physical PC. This is the Trishkey Green G1 Mini PC. And I'm actually going from a virtual environment to a physical environment. So I'll power it on, and like I said earlier, notice here that is F7 to enter boot menu. So I'll tap on the F7 
repeatedly and here it is i'll select the usb drive which is a bootable usb drive and then i get the same menu again language time and keyboard select next repair your computer is the, exactly the same process troubleshoot system image recovery and there it is there's my image again this is the latest image backup i created so i'll just select it and click on next and here notice format and repartition disk is grayed out that's the only option i have if i click on exclude disk here i'll be re-imaging my m.2 and the external hard drive is already excluded that's the image hard drive so here i just click on next leave everything default and then confirm your imaging again it'll tell you that the hard drive will be deleted and it will be replaced with this image if you created an image of a computer that has two drives it is recommended that you restore it to a computer that has two drives because like you saw at the beginning the programs in my case is installed on that second drive and if you don't restore both drives then programs do not work properly like you saw earlier i completely restored to a completely different pc i actually restored from a virtual machine to a physical pc if you notice the screen here even the mouse cursor is green notice that when i go to my virtual machine the mouse is also green and it has all the desktop files thank you for watching this video my name is miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you